Hi guys, this is Lorenzo here. I just wanted to show you my week six of uh, assignment here. I have decided to go with the Yahtzee game where you roll dices and you count your dice and you score them up, right? Um, just wanna, yeah, have a go with you and uh, and show you my um, my code after. So over here we have a roll dice button. If we click on it, uh, the dice appear, um, and here we can have let's say we want to add those two dice the same so two we're gonna add the miss four um, and then it resets again it clear up the thing so we roll the dice again and here if for example I want to make a Yahtzee I gotta lock this one because Yahtzee is like five of them equal and when I lock those that means when I re-roll the dice these won't change the value it will still be three those two would change so let's re-roll it here it is so these stay the same this one change okay you can see this one change because it might just have come back with uh, the same uh, value but let's see we want to add the threes right here it's either three of a kind or three adds if we go three of the kind then we will have 20 of the points if, if I I'm not mistaken right here and we have the upper score which is just the singles one here and the final score which is the whole score right and then we keep going until 13 times and uh, yeah that's how the game is going on so let's play around I have to lock these ones oh sorry I want to lock this one not these we roll the dice it is I have three sixes let me lock these to try um to have at least a Yadzi there oh almost okay now the turns it's three so we can't re-roll the dice no more so it disables so i gotta choose four of a kind i'll go with it it's 29 right here and and so forth okay but let's have a look at uh, my uh my code right here what is the visual code um this is my index uh, HTML but what we want to see it's more of these so what I've done I have, I have a lot of um, add event listeners and clicks so just quickly I have my variable here at the top that I want to play with and uh, my functions here final score I, I use a declaration function so final score to add the scores the rolling dice the display of the dice right here um, using my query selector and um, reroll dice as well here and clear after I uh, choose the, the score I want to score then this function clears out and uh, set up the variable back to what it start with and yeah finding duplicates as well which um, it's useful for um, scoring as well so yeah it is almost the same all around but uh, let's have a look at the first one so i have a document dot query selector at my roll button which is my button to roll the dice for the first time on the click and this is the arrow function i put my uh, temporary variable here to zero this is to count how many turns i have and i roll the dice and then I display the dice because in the dice the five dice array is global so this will change around i'm sure there's other better um, ideas as well but um yeah that's what I'm, I'm choosing to go with um this is where i lock or unlock the dices so when i click on it uh, it changes the image and um, the lock array changes to, to one which is a lock and minus one to unlock yeah it's like a toggle so I did that on all those die images and go down and um, yeah here what I do I I do the reroll the dice and display the dice again um, and we go here you go the scoring part okay for the ones I just use the filter to find um, any elements in the array equal at one and then this will go into the one copy of the array and then I add all the one 
within that one copy array and add them together do the same for one two three four and six then three of a kind is a bit different um, I'm using my duplicate function right here okay full house the same small straight to Yatsi and uh, my chance where we add all of them in one shot but yeah this is me um, I haven't put um, the condition of um, 13th time we, we play that uh, there's a lot of missing things here there's things that I can improve of course but because of time I, I just wanted to do that as well um, yeah that's that's me thank you